Hello and welcome to this course where you're going to be getting hands-on experience of using Docker on a real working system. Docker is one of the hottest topics out there right now and if you're a Java developer who wants to get started with Docker then this is the course for you. I'm Richard Chesterwood, I'm a developer working mainly in Java and the JVM, but I'm also responsible for deploying and managing several business critical microservice based systems. And I've written this course based on some of those experiences. On this course, I'll be assuming no prior knowledge of deployment or system administration. You do not need to be a shell script expert. I'm certainly not one. You just need to have an interest in how software is deployed. On the course, you'll be learning Docker and along the way, you'll be applying your new skills to a realistic application. It's a sample microservice based program called Fleetman. But we'll keep things simple at first. We'll be learning about images and containers and networking and volumes and we'll apply these concepts to a very basic cut down application. But as we get towards the end of the course, we'll move up towards a microservice architecture. And you don't need to know about microservices. In fact, if you haven't worked with microservices before, then this would be a great place to start. Now you won't need to do much, if any, coding on this course, but as a Java developer, you'll probably want to know how Docker integrates with your existing toolset. So we'll be learning how to integrate with your build process using Maven. So I hope you enjoy the course. The entire course is one big practical session. And if you're following along with me, by the end of the course, you will be running real Docker containers in the cloud either on a cloud-based service called Play With Docker, or if you want to get really professional and you're able to use Amazon EC2, then we'll be deploying to some real servers. So we'll start the course then with an overview of what Docker is. We'll get some of the jargon in place, but then we'll go on to install Docker. So I'll see you in the next video.